All I want to do is get high on the beach, get high on the beach. It's going to be rough, guys. Uh, no bobbins, no blanche. So you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to be a little strategic, perhaps. Um, so what are you doing, Fizzy? Uh, my computer is about to restart and download updates, and I can't stop. No! So I'm downloading Skype on my desktop so I can at least have audio. No! <laughs> that thing's gonna reboot, and that's all. That's all about boot a boot. Well, anyway, boot. Let me give you some background history, Mr. Hedoc. Uh, since last we left our party, well, you guys had last time you you were around. You guys had fought that huge Myconid, and um, you uh, you had a secondary reaction after your rage, okay. and your eyes sort of bulged out, and uh, they were not resetting into their eye sockets so well. And, oh my um, god! Yeah. <laughs> Did I strain my eyeballs? Well, probably. Um, Am I had... like? Am I like Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Total Recall? Total Recall. Yeah, it's sort of like that. I mean, you had a pretty nasty freakout um, afterwards, and you're just like, ah! And the part and the party sort of kind of went on without you. Uh, Shay was very adamant about going in the direction, and they they put it in her hands to lead the party, and so she's like, she booked, and everyone was like, oh god, we gotta go follow. And you were just like, ah, go without me, ah, eyes and stuff. That was pretty much what happened there. Uh, the party um, found their way to what they think is the underneath of Jester's Carnival, where the uh, hole that Pod fell in prior. Um, i got to look at this picture now. What did you do? Yes, that's exactly that. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time getting that out of my head now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That um, whole part is crazy, in the room, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so, um, so, yeah. So, uh, the, uh, the party came across that, came across some other things. They found some tracks. Uh, they ended up fighting a quagga. Uh, uh, spell that? I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to uh, uh, Google up some stats. Anyhow, um, they defeated the beast pretty handily because uh, low initiative scores on part of their DM. And, um, and then you eventually found your way to this boat that's in the middle of these two rock formations. Um... And you guys climbed up on the boat and wanted to cross to the other side. However, the boat was kind of at a tilt, and you guys kicked off a dinghy. There was a dinghy on the boat, so you kicked it off in there and climbed down a rope to get into the boat. And a couple people got hurt because there's a lot of little fishies uh, that like to bite that are in the water. I should also mention that the Quagoth, um, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys should tell them what happened. So, we had a Kuatoa, now it's a Shishimi. Your Kuatoa friend no. is now... Yeah. He got he's in, slice he's in denial. He's, he's dead. Damn. Yeah. Without his uh, tank there, he kind of took two uh, slashes and... Yeah. Way to freaking go. 
Uh, nobody told him to go run up there. He just got all intense about it. Yeah. Super intense, Kuatoa. So, he's unfortunately dead. I tried to pick up some skin, but there's just nothing left. Yeah, okay. That sucks. Let's yeah. let's let's not lie here. You you really wanted the uh, the fins to go. Yeah, with your you made him. Yes. <laughs> go. <laughs> I mean, we were we were gonna send him into this pond anyways to check it out. He would have died then. It was inevitable. Thanos. So I'm gonna take it back to. Um, uh, um, Hedok. So the map right with the uh the boat and everything uh-huh yeah but i want to kind of take it back to where you are um and give you a little bit of what happened what happened to hedok kind of moment so you got you were uh let's see let me find the map you were on are you sure was it just like bad allergies who knows? Uh, um, yeah. Okay, so it's this one. All right. So, Hedok, this is where they left you. Um... Okay. And um, I freak out, but I think at this point, you know, it's it's been at least uh, two hours since they left you, and um, I think you're you're pretty much over it. You can't get the eyes back in. Um, it, does it affect no, my but, vision? Well, actually, it does. It actually gives you a plus two to your perception. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to want to make a note of that on any perception checks. You get a plus two. Okay. That's pretty decent. What is this called? Bulging? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move you along. You, you know where the, everybody went. Um, Using my new eyeballs, I tracked the party. <laughs> uh, so from there, the party went to um, so I'm going to go ahead and move um, if you move to the right through the door to the right uh, this is a big day room and in this room is where the party found a bunch of uh, uh, and you also see them. There is also a bunch of uh, there's also a bunch of doors to the east um, that n nobody checked them out or anything like that. Um, but they they went huh. through. They decided to go through this area uh, right there, which is where all the tracks led. Okay. Well, I'll follow the trail. Yeah, keep following the trail. It'll be I'll, it'll be important in a minute. Uh, so in in this room <laughs> is where you find uh, the body of the Quagoth, and you also find a lot of uh, your buddy fish. <laughs> I stumble at the. <laughs> The Kuatoa's corpse with my eyes bulging and, and tears, I guess. I drop to my knees and I pick up the Kuatoa's body and embrace no, it. Well, there like, there really is no like, body for you to... It, to it's like shredded. It. It's, yeah, it's... Oh. It's, and oh. it's... Whatever's it's, there. It's Yeah, it's, sli it's very slippery. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so go up to the to, to the right, that opening to the right. Okay. And to the left is another door up top 
to the north and left is another doorway that they went through. Following the tracks okay. along, if you go in there, um, you'll find that there's a door to the north. Um, and inside there was um, a cage. Um, and then they followed the trail to the west. Why am I, am I making you? All right, so just okay. do nothing. Now I'm going to change maps on you a minute. Right. Just catching you up in a visual sort of way. Plus it, plus it allowed me to uh, correct your character because to give you that visual lighting effect. Mm. Very good. All right. So, oh, I moved your character, but I didn't move the map. Uh, mm -mm -mm. So, welcome back to where the rest of the party is. Okay. As you move up this tunnel, though, you find east, there's a boarded up area. And on these boards, um, it actually says something that you can read. Okay. Nobody else was able to read it because it was written in undercommon. However, you and speak and can read undercommon. Amazingly, you didn't even know you could read it, but you can. Undercommon, that's interesting. What does this say? Uh, so move your dude to the top northeast where those boards are. And on those boards, um, Tuplugdu Banished Zone. How do you spell the first word? I'll type it in. It's spelt how it sounds. Tuplugdu. <laughs> the Tuplugdu banished zone. Okay. Anything That's else? That's it. Uh, to the west it, it is just... a um, uh, the front of a boat sticking out of rock um, that you can um, you can walk up to the top of that boat. Oh my God! It's the Goonies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody messed. Nobody messed with those boards. They just sort of left them in place. Okay. Um, and you are on top of the boat, just as, uh, um, you know, the, the final members are getting down into this dinghy, so just to the west. So right here, a dinghy was kicked off into the waters, and this is where you meet the party. Um... But there's only there's not enough room for you on this dinghy. Oh god. So um, Bobbins and Blanche decide. Um, With a kid, great. That's a good idea. They could go with the kid if you like. So a kid was rescued. His name is Cooper. I... Um. So you could have the kid um, go with them if you like. I think for the for dead weight, yes. Okay. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody oppose? He might have the same fate as the fish if he uh, doesn't. Wait, don't I have skills? Can I? Do I have like some improvement of swimming? You, have, uh, you don't have any improvement of swimming, but you do have crustacean-like skin. And think about that. I'm gonna scream at you and say, "Don't There's enter a rope the water." Hole that you can climb down. I just need an athletics check. Um. Okay. Uh, athletics. Wait, athletics or 
acrobatics. Oh, see, he, he has no problem. No Great. Fizz, what's up with your camera, dude? Um, my the computer's still uh, oh, updating. Okay. Here, let me. Uh, give me one more. Good. Oh. It says it's at eighteen percent. Sweet. It'll only be forever. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're all in the boat. Now the party decided that they wanted to spend a a, 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 a short rest here, but um, we'll say that that's happened, and that that's actually when you caught up to him, not when um, the last guy had gotten down. You caught up to him. That's what allowed you to catch up as they were taking this rest, floating in the water. Um, what would you yep. like to do? Okay. Well, uh, I believe Shay was going to lead us down the waterway there, correct? Yes, she would like to go to the west. However, to the south, you do see a boarded up passage with a little bit of a beach. Not a beach, but, you know, land. Yeah. Mm. Any suggestions? Should we head towards the land, go down the waterway? Um, well, she seems pretty keen on going down the waterway. I'm a I know. Sketched out by it, but I don't know. I mean, I what's mean, the what's the worst can happen, right? <laughs> I mean, you die. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I feel like if we go through the boards, we might end up where we started. I feel like yeah, there there might be like a passageway that we missed. Mm. Mm. I mean, I think we should just keep taking Shay to wherever she needs to because we still need to find Baxter. We need to still see if you know Fortin is even down here. Um, and you know, we still have Shay with us who hasn't fully hacked out yet and seems to be relatively on our <laughs> side at this moment. Yes, <laughs> but you do remember she has been speaking a little more haggish than uh, Sweet lately. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, we find her where she needs to go, drop her off the boat, you know, you reunite it, and we just book it out. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So, I don't know. Do we continue? I just feel like I hate like going through this whole process with Shay and not seeing it through. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I mean, I guess let's just go the I waterway. Think, yeah. Okay, let's just peruse down the waterway down to Lover's Lane there. Okay. Um. Why don't you? Who's who would you say is in the front of the boat? First, or no, shaking in first. A little. I think you got in first. Is. Oh yeah, and then she fell in, didn't she? Yeah, she got hurt. All right, I guess I'll lead the way then. Okay. Ah, sorry about that. My contacts, I forgot I had them in. And then okay. my, I'm I blind. So go ahead and give me a perception check. Well, I'm just, I'm going to move you all together because you're all like in a group. So I'll move you all together. Uh, okay. I just wanted the, the leader to give me a perception check. Gotcha. Wait, where was this kid at? He was in, in a, a cage. cage that you. Oh, yeah. he was in the cage. Okay. Dang. Any any other information of who brought them there? The uh, monster we killed uh, was drag. He woke up and he was dragging him to the cage. Okay. Yeah. Nice, Fizz. Okay. <laughs> Very good perception. You perceive nothing. 
Alright, so you make your way west through the ch channel as it were. And I'm moving the map. Alright, let's see how dynamic lighting works now. We'll move this. Rest. It did not go so well on that last one. So. <laughs> yeah. So someone has to come back for Botman and Blanche on the on the ding the dinghy. That or we just go the same way that we came, and since we know that path, it's pretty much cleared up at, to this point. So if there is another exit on this side, we might all die though, Alex. That's a possibility we got to face. Is there any way to enchant the boat to go back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any such spell. <laughs> So I'm not seeing much more other than what's down that river, um, which is the edge of the map. I haven't uh, moved the map yet. Yeah. All right. What do you see? Really? Everything. Uh, Everything. Yeah. You've revealed it. Moving you back. <laughs> My eyes are closed. Hmm. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Burp. I got a derp. 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 Okay, I got it now. It's totally going to work now. Ready? Here we go. Oh, does this cavern have a uh, sound effects or is it like... I was just thinking that. Def there we go. Definite silence. All right. Now what do you see? There you go. Just the uh, engines. Mine is still loading, so nothing. There we go. Okay, yeah, now we can just see the entrance. I barely see what kind of looks to be a wall in front of us. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Did that, how did they go to black and white? Is this a time warp? It's so weird, man. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> uh... Why is it black and white? We got the music. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even... There's no option for color or black and white. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> I honestly don't. Mm -mm. I've never seen that before. Well, we'll be retro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like newsprint. Okay. I was like, can you add like a filter to the soundtrack so it has like a static, like a. <laughs> right uh, so let me explain here what you <laughs> see. Um, so, <clears throat> in front of you, um, what you see is there's a lever that. Uh, open up some doors here. we probably don't have a good view of that because I put the line in probably not the best spot so let me see if I can rearrange that real quick um, let's see if I do that and that is that better um looks the same to me. Yeah, no change. Hmm. How about that? Still looks the same. Yeah. No change. How come I have two event buttons? Two event buttons? I have one at the top left and one at the bottom 
left. I have no idea. Well, I'll try and describe it as best I can. There's two steel doors in front of you. So it looks like... Um, and there's a lever, which... Um, it looks associated to these two steel doors uh, in front of you. Um, and so... Uh, yeah... Okay. Um, um, so we have steel doors in front of us. Uh, can Shay, Shay, do you hear your sister through these steel doors? Um, there. This is this is the correct way. I haven't heard her in some time, but I feel her. Um. You also hear like this loud, uh, like rushing sort of a water sound hmm. from behind these steel doors. <laughs> wow. Oh, and there's no other way through these steel doors other than the supposed lever that we see. I can only present what is before you, which is two steel doors and a lever. <laughs> mm. There's certainly a lot of um, exploration that hasn't happened. But... Um, pull the lever. <laughs> Do you inspect it first? So... Uh, well, Maybe expect it with my big eyes. <laughs> what, would, what would you like to... So this is basically a perception check, but what are you kind of like looking for? Um, like any any um, connections between the lever and the door um, or um, any traps? Any maybe pressure plates on the floor or like um uh, well we're still in the boat you're still in the boat oh okay you're still in the boat um but there is this lever um <clears throat> that looks like you know along this wall here that you, you know you can it looks like you can just pull it um it does seem as if the um well, give me a give me a perception check. That'll be better. Oh, well, oh my God. Uh, well, you get Wait, plus two, plus two six. Though. So uh, those, those eyeballs. eyeballs um, <laughs> you see a lever. <laughs> For rolling that, you it's just brown. See a lever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank wow. you for that. That's a great description. Yeah. You oh. hear water sounds. <laughs> um. So I'm going to take a look around um, to see, like, not the lever itself, but the uh, the steel wall. I'm going to just take a look and, and see if there's any kind of, like, um, writing notification or any kind of, like, I guess, under currents or anything on the sides of the walls next to the uh still the still wall there just to see if i could perceive what that rushing water is okay um roll a perception check let's see here i thought i had better perception than that Um, yeah, you're not quite understanding. You, you get the feeling that there's definitely something going on with this door and the lever and the sound of the water seems to be maybe seeping through the door, maybe, but there's, it's hard to tell. It's a very thick door. 
Okay, so there's a rock there. I'm just thinking like this might be like an aqueduct or maybe some kind of fall off on the other side. Um, this is why I wanted to perceive that so that we can at least maybe climb along the wall while we pull the lever to keep the boat steady until we see what's on the other side of the wall. I think we, I don't know. I think we just pull the lever. You're, you're so haphazard. <laughs> well, because like, what else? Can, what can we do in this little dinghy? Like, we can't, we can't like generate enough force to open this little door. No, I mean it's it's not opening the door. It's about the what after. Our reaction time is going to be pretty key to that, and that's why I'm saying if there's any way that we can open it so that I mean, because right now, do we have paddles? Yes. And stingy, and we can still maneuver in the current right now. That whatever the current of the water Who's is. Holding those paddles. That's what I was wondering. I'm going to be holding one, I guess. Thanks. Me too. Okay. Um, yeah. Me and Hadok have a paddle. What if? What if we open it, and then like the area becomes flooded? Cowabunga. <laughs> to our death. Well, let's okay. Let's we're gonna we're gonna push you towards the lever, Hedok. You're gonna keep firm grasp of that damn lever, okay? You're gonna open it, and we're gonna see what happens. And then hopefully that damn thing has a close if we don't like what what's going on. Okay. Is that does that sound reasonable? Yeah. Or is that unfathomable? Well, I'm not too sure if it's. If it's gonna be okay. How's this plan going? The guy's gonna do what? <laughs> We're I'm... hoping that he can somehow <laughs> grasp the lever, operate it, and still keep hold of it until we see when those doors open what our fate is. And then at that moment, we're just gonna go ahead and you know, if we don't like it, we're gonna try to shut that lever down. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a great plan. Okay, I like you know, it. And I and I'm telling him this and I'm actually gonna do my can trip of guidance on him for whatever ability check he's gonna need. And it's just be like, you got this, and I'm marking his forehead with the sign of a cross or somewhat. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. So guidance, target can roll a D four and add the number roll to one ability check of its choice. Okay. Yeah, and he has, I think, a minute to use that. Right. Or, okay. yeah. I feel I have a, a meme for this. All right. It's the open open the gate one. So, Hedok, you've got the lever in hand. Who's got And who's got the oars? <laughs> With my bulging who's got eyeballs. The oars? I just... <laughs> So he he had one of the oars, so he's gonna have to pass it up to Fizz or uh, Neani there. So which one of you would like it? Um, Fizz, I, I just want to think. I think that you have more strength for paddling. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Okay, you open or you pull the lever. Just a little. It, it's been great, guys. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> and you, just, as you pull the lever, you hear, <clears throat> like, just like the, the, the metal just of the steel doors just kind of rubbing, <clears throat> just making this loud, obnoxious sound. Um... And your view has not changed at all, has it? No. What Does that? The hell? Th yeah. Does that mean we're dead? Oh God. <laughs> all right, this is killing me. Dynamic lighting, you fail me again. <laughs> What's I in the box? I thought we had this figured out. All right. It's just—it's too luxurious for us, maybe. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know what the problem effect. is, guys. I know what the problem is. Do you have it like in a suspension mode or somewhat? No, I put you on the wrong layer of the map. Ah. That's why we're black and white. That makes sense now. Duh. Mm -hmm. Hang on, that's an easy fix. Maybe I took that wrong. I just, I love Utuquad so much that I would be devastated if I had to roll out a new character, is all I'm going to say. I don't know. I, I feel like I would never be able to play a warlock again because Utuquad would be the only one. <laughs> nice. You guys should start being able to see stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see people moving. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Wow. That was weird. And now I'm glad to have fixed it. Okay. So um, let me add in some other fun things. So as you pull that uh, lever, the doors open and you're hanging on, Hedoc. Give me an athletics check. Come on, Hedoc. You got that plus four. Now's the time to use it if you need. <laughs> well that you know oh okay so okay you're, hang, right. you're hanging on just fine but as you're hanging on like that boat kind of like is pivoting around so you know you're sort of backwards um and you're basically just an anchor against the wall where this lever is um everyone else is sort of stabilizing but uh, the rush of water is becoming really great, and it's going over the small little waterfall into this area that you see before you. And what you also see before you um, are some Kuotoas. Oh my god, are we in a Kuotoa layer? I want to say that they're I hope friendly. they're friendly. Yeah. I know. I was going to say, I want to say they're friendly. I, apparently, Alex can understand them, though, from our friend Shishimi. I Rest think they're more tribal folks, so. More more like vicious, maybe? Mm -hmm. Well, Shishimi wasn't that hard to kill anyway. We could get some easy XP out of this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Man. <laughs> no love. <laughs> No Wait. love for I, I, the Kuotoa. Just All right. Um, so. so. So let me get this right. This right there is a depression, right? That's lower in elevation. According yes. to. Okay, and we're at the top of the waterfall. Okay. You're, at, you're at the top of the waterfall. It's not a far drop. Uh, uh -huh. You can certainly make it in the dinghy just fine. The water is really rushing fast. So I'm going to need another athletics check as you keep hanging on to this. Man, I'm like getting a workout. Yeah, and well, he's well, he's doing that uh, that check there, or you know, mustering up his strength. Um, can I kind of can I read the the Kuotoa's kind of reaction to that door opening? Um, yes. So maybe perception, or are you just gonna is that static? There's something else that's happening that you weren't quite expecting um, in this very moment. And it's probably a good idea to do a little bit of um, at this point. 
Nice. Okay, that's. Oh, okay. Okay. Because also, as this water is rushing towards this waterfall area, remember those little biters? Uh -huh. They're also rushing towards, and they're and you see them like flopping over. Um, these swarms of these little fish that were were biting at you guys are now like collecting in a net that's down below this waterfall, and the Kuatoa are looking hungry. Um, Feeding time. Pull oh. up a thing here. So the waterfall will land in the net with these bastards biting at us. Yes, you're definitely inside, like within, I don't know, the next two minutes what you're going to do, or I'm just going to make something happen. You don't have a choice much longer. You're going to have to make a decision. Let's shut it and let's go the other route. Maybe it swings around. Yeah, it's too it's too much for I mean we can't all fall out of a Have boat. A full, yeah. You know, it, I mean we can I'm more about screen. <laughs> Close the fucking gate. <laughs> Hold the door. Yeah, exactly. This time just close it. If it'll close for Christ's sake, I don't know. Um, just hang on one second. Okay, so I'm going to need you to give me uh, another athletics check, this time with disadvantage. Oh, you made it anyway. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, you... ka um, And the, the Kuatoa scene... Surprised? <laughs> um, like what just happened? They're probably, the was yeah, that? they're like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> All right, we are gonna just or ourselves back to that damn boat. We're just gonna nope that. Yeah, that that'll be sometime later once one of us can fly, maybe. <laughs> okay. So you want to head back? Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm just gonna tell Shay that's just not the way that we need to go right now. We'll have to find another entrance to that. We should have just gone. It was just Kuatoa. In needlefish in a net. We couldn't. We, we would have to get out of the net. You know, then swim. Shay, we'll. We're gonna see because we have the other path that we need to explore. Let's see if that go around because he doc you were able to understand the passageway signage correct are you reading my mind little man i am reading my thoughts <laughs> you're right i forgot to tell you guys <laughs> but that that border of passageway says two blue to banish zone and I'm not too sure what to blue do means but you can check that other boarded off area on your land yeah and that way we won't be stuck in this thingy yeah 
That's okay. Right. Let's head let's head to the beach first since we're out here, right guys? Yes. All right. We're gonna head to the beach first before we climb up the rope of death into the needlefish. Needlefish for two hundred. Okay. Just <laughs> One quick second. Fizz, what happened to your hat? We should start. We should start selecting themes. That would be fun. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So you guys are going to that little beach area. Yeah, we're gonna go. Go to the beach with that boarded area. Check it out. Does anybody who's continuing on our path have rope? I think I do. Okay. I was like, because I, I know I have the, the climber's pack or something along those lines. Just making sure we have that. No, I don't. Well, my explorer's pack, I think it well, does. Well, some of your rope is now hanging off of that boat. So. Right. And that's why I was wondering how far that drop was. I have 50 feet. So. Yeah, I have, I have a 50, yeah, 50 feet of hemp and rope in my adventure explorer's okay. pack. Okay. So we're good. We'll just use his if we need to. Okay. All right. All I want to do is get high on the beach, get high on the beach. Okay, so right. um, uh, okay, so <clears throat> here. You've got some uh, boards. Um, you see a lot of, you see um, rock and lumber that's basically boarding this up. Hmm. No signage or anything? No script? Nope. All right. Well, I'm going to Aldrich blast through that thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Can we break it down? Figured if we could get all the bad rolls out right now, maybe during battle won't be so bad. Uh, so you guys are going to dig through the rubble? Yeah, we're going to kind of start removing some of that debris. Okay. Uh, you start removing some of the rocks and rubble, and uh, um, you... You you get through it in probably about an hour of digging through, um, and what you find yourself in familiar. Just copy your dudes and move the map once again. So you find yourself in this room. You've been here before. Ooh. One of the entrance. Yes. Ah, excellent. Okay. Well, as, we know the water's safe this way. You notice that, that um as you're digging through all of that rubble, one of the one of the signs uh or one of the pieces of boards said don't let the children in painted on it with an don't with an the... emblem. Uh and this emblem, you you've you've seen this before, and you saw it at um, uh, Jester's Carnival, up top on the surface. 
Huh. What is the emblem? What it looks like, you know, probably the jester's emblem. But it basically just says, don't let the children in, and it's got, like, uh, this emblem. Mm. Okay. Well, do we want to just keep going this way so we don't have to climb up that rope? Because that, I think... I mean, since we're down here, because I think we needed to backtrack to go to that armory, too, and check it out, right? Um, yes. Yeah? What was the, remind me, the objective uh, of exploring? We're trying to... So, we're searching for um, Fortin because we were led to believe that Fortin had made his way down here because there was some ruckus up above where Fortin was going to put an end to the grave diggers and he told everybody to kind of board up and we're kind of in search for him right now. Oh, and then Shay, right. yeah, and Shay also hears her sister's voice echoing down here off and on. That's right, okay. Yeah. Yes, there's my mm -hmm. commands down here. <laughs> we can still explore that other area, too. Yeah, so I, I think just kind of continuing our same path since we've already taken it. Um, yeah, like, look, let's just go back to the previous room and then go east. Yeah, or... well, I'm saying leave the boat on the on the sand there. Okay. And then just kind of go down where we had to swim in here, because that we didn't encounter anything here. I think what we need to do is we need to get on to the next map area, and that's where we left the armory to unlo um, unchecked. Okay. So you want to move to the east? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so to the east, that brings you to I mean, I hope that fungus thing doesn't regenerate. So that's going to bring you back to going to have a little bit of a back to the future moment. He doc, you don't see yourself. I left another token over there. You guys didn't see that. But. Yes. So that down below, Alex, is the uh, that's underneath the jest, the smiling jester. Okay. Yeah. He like you so definitely recognize this is where you had your little freak out moment with your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we're gonna go up north. Okay. And up north is taking you to. Hey, Alex, did you ever make those macarons I sent you? The recipe for? Not yet. Another... Seeing Hedok again. All right. Hmm. 
Let me zoom out because this map's a little bit bigger, right? Yep. Is this the one you wanted to eventually explore? I believe so, because this is the one where we didn't take a look in Armory 2, which is what we read on that um, sign here. Uh, let's see. So let's go check out the Armory. All right. Yeah. At this point, I will let you move your own character. So... Where's the armory? It's uh, right there. You see in that first little corridor with two doors? It's the door to the south. Okay. Okay, so Fizz is going up. Okay. So, um, here you see, <clears throat> um, uh, a door that uh, says Armory 2 painted on it. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and inspect it because I don't think we checked to see if it was locked or trapped or anything like that. It is locked. You don't, uh, well, well okay. you, don't, you don't think there's any traps, but you can certainly do a perception check for traps. Yeah, let me pull up my sheet real quick. You also notice that there's a small little, um, a small little crack uh, where there's broken wall where you could probably sneak through there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll ping it real quick right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you try uh, but... Booth God? Yeah. Oh, I'll... Well, what if there's a beast in here, guys? I have to run Is back. There a the hole? I have no idea what you said. It sounded a little... Muffled. You look for the crack. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you can look through the crack. Um, and you see some weapons. All right, I just went ahead and walked in there. You certainly can walk <laughs> right in there. Yep. All right, guys. It looks pretty good. Come on in, if you guys can fit through there. Can you unlock it from the side? <laughs> I mean, I have keys. Yeah, we have a ream of keys. Let's get it unlocked. OK, so, so inside, what kind of weapons? Inside, uh, you see a damaged wall to the west. Uh, and and you see an armory. And it looks like um, the weapon and armor racks that line the walls have uh, weapons that are pretty good. Um, you see um, two light crossbows. You see one light short bow. You see one battle axe, two flails, two glaives, four long swords, four short swords, four heavy crossbows, three long bows, 60 arrows, 60 bolts. You see three chain shirts, one chain mail, a breastplate, and two shields. Hmm. Uh, you also find uh, that there's a decorated um, case that has these runes all over it. Um, and it has some sort of inscription, uh, but um, I'm not sure that anyone can read it. Can I, can I inspect it? You can. We need perception. Uh, what languages do you speak? Hmm? What languages do you speak? Sp 
speak. Where's that? Your languages? It's on the bottom left yeah. of your sheet. Um, My... Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can't read the, the language. You can't read the writing either. Okay. Um, but if you if you want to do any sort of anything else with the case, you certainly can. Anything else with the what? With this case, you certainly can. Uh, I speak common in gnomish and also infernal, I believe. Yeah. So I can't understand any of the markings either? Nope. Okay, I'm going to go and inspect it to um, kind of see if there's like uh, a way to open the, the case. Okay. Uh, looks like it would just open. There doesn't appear to be a lock on it. Okay. Um, I'm going to inspect for traps. Is that going to be perception on my part? Yes. Yeah. It does not seem trapped to you. All right, Udaquad, let's just crack this baby open. It's going to open it. <laughs> You're just going to open it? Yeah, I mean, he's not going to know that he rolled terribly in that sense, so he's going to just go under the sus you know, suspicion that it's clear and free. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you um, open it, and inside you see a... Um, you see a, uh, a quarterstaff. Hmm. A quarter staff. I'm sorry. It's yes. It's a quartz quarter staff, and it's it's a white quarter staff uh, inlaid with swirling green designs. Hmm. I'm gonna call Nyalyani over since I think she, she's kind of you know magic type. I feel like looks a little magical and you know a little bit more up her alley being so ordinate in design okay so i'm gonna call her over and ask her what she thinks of it and a uh, heavy crossbow is a martial weapon correct uh yes Uh, so Nelyani, um, you find that this is also, this is a white staff with green design. Uh, I mean, what are you trying to perceive exactly about this? Uh, if it would be useful to any of us, I mean, uh, you know, like from my character is a warlock, so he doesn't really have use for many weapons. Um, but if he did come across some kind of, you know, um, wand that would be useful to him, which probably might not either way, because he doesn't it's channel not his... why you do a perception check, Larry. Yeah. So are you saying, Nelyani, do you perceive this to be something I can use? <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to ask her what she, if she knows anything about this or if she's seen something like this in her in her travels or life. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, it um, you don't um, perceive, you've never seen anything like this. It, 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 it seems maybe it might be some sort of magical thing. You can give me an arcana check. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, Arcana. Uh, with with the way that this staff is designed, it, it seems that this is specially crafted in some way. This isn't just your normal, like, 
white quarter staff. This is this is a nice object here. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could always sell it, right? Yeah, it sounds like that. Just take it now, deal with it later. Olivia, are you on mute? I just saw you trying to talk there. Can't hear you still. Uh oh. Hold on. Uh, I was going to say, Alex, the flails are 1d8 bludgeoning, just to let you know. So I think your great axe is better. Um, Wait, all right, what's happening? Uh, Can you tell me the stats with the weapons? Yeah. And then Olivia is trying to get her mic to work. Can you hear me yep. now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just asking, is there, can I see if I can use the weapon or anybody else in the party use the weapon? The staff? Seemingly anyone can use it. But, I mean, it's just mm -hmm. a stick that's really cool looking. Mm hmm. So, I mean, yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, if nobody wants that staff, I'll take it. I could use a walking stick. All right. So you're going to take it? Yes, I will go ahead and collect the white sw spiraled as staff. As soon as you touch it, I need you to give me a charisma save. Charisma. Nice. Um, uh, so, okay, so is this, well, let me see, go ahead and yeah, let's, let's go to talk first. What's happening to me. <laughs> so you, you, as soon as you touch this stick, I mean, you the quad, I mean, I've, you know, this is something that happens to you quite often, it seems, yeah. but you touch this stick and all of a sudden you hear like, oh, 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 and, and uh, you, um, uh, you, you just hear like an old man screaming and you take three points of psychic damage. Okay, so with a gnome cunning, is this, so that's psychic damage, that's not magic, is it? Because I would have advantage due to gnome, gnome cunning. Gnome cunning. I'll have to look this one yeah. up. Yeah. What does gnome yeah. cunning do for you? Here, let me blurb it out to you here. It's pretty much advantage on wisdom, charisma, saving throws against magic. Yeah. I'll give you advantage. Uh, okay. So, so, has so you don't actually take the... Um, <laughs> but I'm the, shook. The screaming... <laughs> Uh, that actually never happened. Um, uh, basically, what happens is, instead of a screaming sound, as you touch this this stick, you hear, Hey! Who goes? Wh oh, what's going on here? Oh. This, is, this is interesting. Who are you? Well, hi, my name is Utu Quad. I'm here seeking adventures in this cavern and who are you i'm kind of talking to the air because i don't know well this is some shit <laughs> some home and some this stick how the hell did i get in the stick oh well then it seems like you're trapped in the stick and gonna hold that and look at it and ask you know make sure that's where it's coming from uh, you know it's definitely coming from the stick. From the stick? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, uh, ain't that some bullshit? Yeah, I bet this was oh. Steve that did this to me. And what's your name? My name's Gerald. Gerald. Huh, Gerald, before you were uh, so slender and in shape, uh, what, what were you before? What the hell are you? Asking me these questions. Well, 
you know, I'm a, uh, a, 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 you know, I practice warlock and I am oh, a, Oh, god you know, damn, another magic person, huh? Woo, voodoo, hoodoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, we do have some warriors here, too, if, if that makes you more hey, comfortable. Hey, warriors! You gotta kill this warlock! Don't trust, oh, oh, wow. don't trust wow. the warlock! Nice. We're, we're, we're here together. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it, this vocal, vocalization, it's out loud, right? So the other team can hear it? What's that? The other team, the other team members can hear this vocalization? or Yeah. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, this is not just in your head or anything. Not like the other times. Yeah. Well, you read what's on the box? <laughs> I don't know. Gerald, do you know what's on this box here? No. Can you even see? Do you have eyes? No. <laughs> All right. Well, Gerald, would you would you like to like come out of the stick maybe? I mean, you yeah, can't kill me. straight but... I do. Okay, are, are you are you a witch, warlock, hunter, mag, anti mag type? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh boy, uh, I think you're better stuck in the stick. I might just carry you around for a couple oh, millennia. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, let's see. G uh, well, Gerald, uh, I'm gonna use you as a walking stick for right now because I don't think that we have anybody that can master the art of taking you out of the stick. How does that sound? Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Listen here. Just put me back in the box. Right, he can't see the box. Just put me back where you found me. Oh, I think that's for the best. What do you guys think? I don't think we need this damn stick. We already got rid of the kid. Well, he's stuck in there. I feel like we need to release him. He, he's he's going to kill magic types. Gerald, release is good. Listen to your friend. Up. Yeah, are you going to kill magic types, though? I might wow. kill you if you keep asking questions. Oh, um, yes. see, I don't think you have any position here to be threatening, Gerald. They'll snap your ass in half. <laughs> so, are you going to hunt us? Shay, Shay walks in. Up. Shay walks in. Oh, shit. What? I, I heard something about Tereshima. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know a Gerald, Shay, by any chance? Gerald, what, what was your occupation? Witch hunter? No, I'm not a witch hunter. But that Tashtiba did this to me. Okay. Well, Shay, can you can you help Gerald get out of this stick? Don't let that Shay touch me. I can sense it. Well, if she can get you out, Gerald, she's gonna be your only bat here because I don't know how. How to about ever... you beat her face in with me? Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, I've got a live one here. <laughs> Um, well, you know, I don't think Shay would like that, and she can't really help you get out. Uh, Shay, do, what do you know about Tishtiba turning people into sticks? Uh, I don't know anything. Hmm. Tishtiba's dead. That's all I know. Yeah. You hear that stick, Gerald? Well, that's good. All right. Do okay. So, so team vote here. Do we keep the stick, Gerald? Yes. Oh, yes. God. Here, Alex. You know, I'm I'm gonna just take him. Like, then you carry him, Alex, or He Doc. I'm gonna look over to He Doc and just hand him the stick, Gerald. I'm gonna let He Doc carry you. I feel like you guys um, get along better. I look at Olivia and I'm like, Do you want to look at this? No. <laughs> no. The people with the magic. I want nothing to do with it. He, yeah, he doesn't like Nayani and myself, He Doc. I just. Yeah, we have magic. Hold on to him. It'll be your quest from this point on. Okay. Oh, yeah. I put him in my bag and, like, he's As soon as you out. grab it, I need you to make a charisma. Uh, oh, shh. Charisma? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as you touch it, um, you take uh, four points of psychic damage as, as Gerald screams during this pass. Oh! 
Oh my god. <laughs> Old geriatric. <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean, maybe it's worth some gold or something. I don't know. Thanks, Hedoc. <laughs> what? Oh, man, is there anything else what, in this what do you wonderful do? What do you do box? With this, <laughs> it's in my. It's like in my bag, sticking out, and so he can see everything. Okay. And make sure you mark that in your inventory stick, Gerald. So when we get up surface, we know what to do with them. <laughs> One stick of Gerald. <laughs> I mean, I hope, like, I feel like he's just like a soul trapped in there, so his body's gone. Gerald, your body, body's gone, most likely. Is there anything else in the box? No. Jeez. All right. What? So we have the weapon rack. We have some chain mail there. Um, I don't know. Anybody in our party? Can you guys wear chain mail? Yanni, I don't think you do. I think I can. Well, I, I, Alex, I think you're, it's beneficial for you not to wear chain mail, right? Yeah, it's better if I have no armor. Yeah, it's medium armor is what it's categorized under. I have scale mail. Okay, so I think that's light, is it? Or... Isn't it similar? Oh, no, that's medium. Same. Yeah. But I would stay with your... I mean, unless you wanted something more stealth-like, but scale mail's slightly better. No, I'll keep what I have. Okay. Um, and then anybody need any daggers? I think there was some bolts and arrows, I think, which would be a benefit us to go ahead and collect um, as much as that is possible. So how many, how many bolts and arrows did we have? Uh, there were, are, are, there are 60 arrows and 60 bolts. However, 60 um, you can't arrows. carry each qu a quiver typically carries 20. Although I think you can get a large quiver that can carry 40, but that's, uh -huh. um, Bolts are pretty much a box of bolts for t like can hold twenty. Otherwise, you're just carrying all these, yeah, loose pieces of of projectiles. Um, let me see who has. I think I have a. I just have one bolt, right? And I have a light crossbow, which I think I can only use. I mean, I think some of you have used up some of your. Um, bolts and things. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, Fizz. What's your what's your arrow and bolt count like? Uh, I have seventeen arrows and nineteen bolts. Seventeen arrows. Okay, I would say go in and just max out. Max out your bolts and arrows at this time. Um, Alex, can you use heavy crossbows? I don't know. You know, Yanni, um, I think that would be helpful. So you don't no. have, like constantly use like the, you know spell slots. Oh, you well, want me to have a crossbow? Uh, yeah. What weapons do you have now? And what is? I mean, can you use? Uh, I have a mace and a short bow. A mace and a short bow. Okay. Let's see. And do is your you now Yanni? Are you proficient or able to use uh, you know martial weapons like a heavy crossbow? I'm already overweight. I mean, I can I could probably take it. Mm. I mean, the idea is for you to take it and use it, though. I mean, because I don't. How do I tell if I'm proficient or not? Mm. I mean, I have a short bow, so I guess I can... Well, not quite, because, like, my character, he cannot use... He doesn't use... He can't use martial weapons, so he's always going to be at disadvantage, I believe. Is that correct? I'm sorry. Say that again? So if you, the character can't use, like, a martial ranged weapon, such as a heavy crossbow... Mm -hmm. You'll be disadvantaged when using it, yeah. 
disadvantage always, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you know if Nalyani's character is proficient with martial range weapons? Uh, I don't, but it's on the lower left-hand corner of your sheet. It should mm -hmm. say what uh, weapon proficiencies oh, you have. Yeah, that's right. Simple. What is the max weight? So that I'm is, not. Uh, so uh, Nelyani, you don't have martial weapons. Um, no, okay. I'm not enforcing encumbrance, but um, like to the letter of the law. Um, but uh, at a certain point, you know, common sense will say this is just not doable. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was just thinking if we should take one back to our team because I, I don't. I know Blanche doesn't use martial weapons, right? No, I can use martial weapons. Okay, I would I would say for you then, I'd suggest Hedok pick up a heavy crossbow. Okay. Yeah, it's 110 piercing damage. I think that's better than your javelins. Should I take better armor? I have leather armor. Yeah. Can you use medium armor? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you could swap out. Also use shields. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could probably swap out for the scale mail, and also um, probably pick up the shield. I'll give you a plus two to your AC, I guess, whenever it's dawned, most likely. Oops. Wait. One. It's one D ten. Uh, so there is, what were you looking at? The chain mail? There's one chain mail. Yeah. I was going to say, I think Fizz is considering picking, uh, exchanging that chain the, mail out. The chain mail is heavy armor, so, um... Oh. And you, is there other armor what, just that? what's that? There's a chain shirt. Is there other armor? Like yeah, there's there's oh. a chain shirt, or there's actually three chain shirts. A chain shirt is medium. Um, okay. Chain and that will give you heavy. Uh, thirteen plus your dex modifier. Let me look at, take a look at your sheet. So, Fizz, what are you wearing right now? Leather? Leather armor? Yeah. Okay, so leather armor gives you 11 plus dex. So you'll get... Uh, so 11 plus dex with no max. For the chain shirt, you get a max of 2. So you're going to get... Uh, so it would give you... Um, a 15 armor class if you use the chain shirt instead of the leather armor. Oh, Alex, pick up some bolts too. 20. 20? Okay. Right? Is that what we said? 20 is like the max for the bolts. How do I on a You see what you see what to do? How do I like get rid of something from my All you have to well you don't want to get rid of it, you just unequip it. Well, because I accidentally added two chain oh. shirts. So then you click the little lock button. And then okay. it'll give you the delete option. And for me, I don't think I'm going to pick up anything. I still have all my bolts. Okay. I still have a hand axe, two daggers. I guess I'll pick up a shield as well. I'm going to sign off, guys. What? Chris, if you, if you guys want to just pull my character along and roll for me. 
<laughs> we can't do that. Because what, what if, what if, you know, you need to make a decision on your part? I don't want to murder you. I leave it to the party. I'm struggling to stay awake. I'm still. Oh yeah, I'm on still... vacation. Yes, but well, I'll, hours. I'll I'll, uh, I'll take control of you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Later. See you, Nando. Let's see. Shields. Who can use shields in general? I don't think that's going to really help me. Did he say if there was any daggers? Uh... I don't think so, but let me just double check. No daggers. Uh, one battle axe, two flails, two glaives, four long swords, four short swords. Nothing I can use. Okay, and just these the chain shirts, pretty much for armor. And there was the breastplate as well. Oh, that's oh, hey, you know, uh, Fizz, just to let you know, the uh, breastplate is categorized as medium armor, also. Oh. Yeah, so that Actually, might be that better. better if you want that. Yeah, should I get yes. rid of the t yeah. shirt then? Yeah, delete, delete the chain it? shirt and put it yeah. in the breastplate. And actually, that's a pretty good find because on the street, that's 400 gold to buy. It is, yeah. And, yeah. And uh, does Blanche, can Blanche use a heavy crossbow? How many heavy crossbows were there in this? Three, right? Yeah, I thought there was more than one. Uh, there are four heavy crossbows. Nice. Um, can Blanche and Cassandra Blanche can use the like the the she has like she's a, a druid, scamander, so right? She's probably not a heavy. No. No? Okay. I just know that she uses martial melee weapon. So I was just looking at. Um, then for Bobbins, what is what is his armor and weapon type proficiency? Bobbins is light armor. And uh, light armor, okay. Simple weapons, short sword, rapier, long sword. So, okay, so he's not a he's not a crossbow no. candidate either, right? Well, he's he has All hand, right, he has a hand crossbow, but it's not he can't he's. He's a halfling, so doing a heavy crossbow is not going to cut it. <laughs> he has to hold it on his shoulder. Yeah. That's not going to work. <laughs> all right, so I think I think we're all set here. Um, and you know, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Nothing more else of interest. Yeah. No. All right. Let's see. Man, I was so sad. I was excited about that staff, but I didn't have an elf. That damn staff. All right, Gerald, the stick. That's going to be interesting. Right. So we never really inspected to see what these guys were over here on the uh, the east wall here. Yeah, the, all those rows, doors. doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I got keys, so let's start with one of them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's start just kind of on the bottom there and just, like, work our way up. Because... Let's 
the one thing that I think we needed to. Okay, one second, please. I'm like, I, I just solved the mystery. <gasps> what? Yep, I just had uh, epiphany of epiphanies and solve something that I was struggling with for some time. And... Booyah. Booyah! Okay, cool. All right. Where are you guys at? All right, so... Going to... The... Oh, shoot. Now I gotta control Shay. And I'm just gonna put him in the room. And he doc. All right, Fizz. Which door would you... Which Which is door number one for you? The bottom. Starting with the bottom? Okay. Yes. Okay, dokie. Let me describe these doors. Yeah, I was going to say, are they like broom closets? Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a broom in this one. No. It is, this, the broom's <laughs> name is, is Donald. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, every, wait, wait, what is this, the Beast Castle? Uh, so, do, 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 do. Um, you find in that room. I have to put on this lighting thing because we're still in dynamic lighting and I can remove this thing. And whoa, it's not doing what I wanted it to do. Huh. So this was the map that I totally like screwed up if you remember, and uh, see if I can do that. Boop. You see it? Yay. Inside there, um, uh, you see that there's two beds in here, and as you enter the room, I need you to make a DC 10 deck save. I just want to do that. So just do a deck save and you have to beat 10. That's what DC 10 is. Where's the deck save at? It's here. It's uh, above, there's, you know, where you have your, like, your athletic check. It's above, in that box above, there's all your saving. Oh. There oh, you I go. Find some darts. Um, so you open the door, and as you walk in, you see the two beds, and you step in, and all of a sudden, all this, like, wall starts caving in, and you, uh, you, you manage to get yourself out of the room. Um, without getting trapped in that. Oh my! Oh, that was not good. Yeah. So that yes. wasn't that wasn't a trap or anything, right? That was just like de a yep. decrepit. Cool, Fizz. You all right? You up for this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Shay should go into the next room first. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you want to do. I want to go find my sister. <laughs> this is a waste of time. Maybe she's in one of these rooms. <laughs> I mean, unless she wants to jump to that big net with all those fish in it. I mean, I feel like she she can take that boat too. Yeah, go for it. All right. <laughs> now, Shay, let's let's just let's check these rooms because we have we wombo you wombo. You know, we have quest and you have a quest, so let's just work together, Shay. Everything okay? Fine. I'm a clue. Okay, all right. So, this door, as you open it, um, reveals uh, just a collapsed room, and anything that was in here is now just garbage, completely destroyed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get this sense right. that these were some sort of like um, dorm rooms or something. Yeah. 
Just like little sleep yeah. rooms, pretty mm -hmm. much. Okay. Well, yeah, let's just open the door and just peer Same in. Same thing for this one. Cool. Nice and easy. Like it. All right. I'm a completionist, by the way. This is how I play I'm every game. I'm also a completionist. It was <laughs> killing me that you guys weren't exploring more. I'm like, whoa. Oh, I didn't see that these were all doors when I first went through here. I, I think it's because we were just like on the rush of like getting Shay before she mm -hmm. hagged out. But then we're like, mm, now she's she... full on hag. You know, just you know, <laughs> not quite yet. She has, <laughs> she's still, she still got the Shay in there. Uh, so yeah, it's just mm. more, more ruin. And okay. More okay. ruin. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the rest of these rooms. And uh, these rooms up here, these these last four rooms, they all have they all seem pretty intact. They're not caved in or anything, and they all have about they all have two beds inside. Um, but there's but they're pretty empty at this point. Hmm. So these rooms are are there? Are you able to lock them from the inside and outside, or how did the locks work on them? Yeah. You could lock them from the inside. Okay. So see, this is a good place to kind of come back, I think, so we can do like a long rest at some point if we need to. I'm just going to, you know, point that out just for some notes because then we can secure it somehow. That you know? is an option. Yeah. And I will um, say for you guys, it's been a very long day. If you really remember has, the beginning of this day, the beginning of this day actually started in the in the brawler battle. Yeah, yeah. The brawlers and the so this has been a long day, and it's really, I would you know when you actually went down into this area, it was already getting to be nighttime. It was, so yeah. It's pretty. That's late. I was, yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah. Well, I guess we can end it off on a long rest. I think that would be. Yeah, I think that'd be a good a good choice. I mean, um, can we go ahead and maybe call back the child? Because, well, actually, how many? Well, I guess we could sleep on the floor in these things, right? In these units. Yeah. Okay. I was like, because I could throw the tent up in one of them, you know, if someone needed privacy. <laughs> um, we're going to put So we're going to put Shay. I, I don't want to leave the kid with Shay. I can't believe I was going to suggest that. Why don't that. you leave me with Fizz? <laughs> oh, and Hedoc. Fizz and Hedoc. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ever been to Paris? So let's see. Um... I'll guard over you. Well, big how boy. many people can fit in these rooms? There's about two beds. Would you say about four maximum? Per room? Yeah. Uh I mean, you've got uh one, two, three, four, five, six. You have eight in your party. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking two rooms, because we have so enough you, elves I mean, you to can help put with two the people watch. in each room. You've got four rooms there. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to like keep an eye open because like we can keep watch we have enough elves that they can do their four hour meditation and then you know somebody pick up the rest just so, just so they can keep an eye on who you know in case if shay freaks out or that little kid stolen again uh he docks fingers turn into Vienna sausages. <laughs> I have a nightmare and kill somebody because it's just too surreal. I mean, all of those things could happen. Yeah, we're, we're kind of fucked up. Let me <laughs> get those other tokens. Actually, you know, I want to experiment something. I read something that you could just drag from character sheets, but I don't believe it. So I'm just going to try that real quick. Let's see. Got a Blanche. Oh, like you can recall their token from their... Yeah, it didn't work. 
me this ML thing. Hmm. Well, I see like a little. There's like a little sh head with shoulders. <laughs> like. Yeah. The... Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> She's turned into a changeling. <laughs> the old-fashioned way here. Blanche, and who else am I grabbing bobbins? Actually, this is pretty good because you guys can take a long rest and I can spend the rest of this time getting Nelyani her level 2 stuff. Yeah. I was going to say, that's the other reason too. I was like, Nelyani's been kind of just waiting to level up. <laughs> that would not be fun if she's like, you know, skip two levels. I'm coming with you, big boy. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so I'm going to put her up because when we pick up um, you'll have rested so I'm going to put her up to full hit points. Nice. And that way I don't have to use a short rest to reset my hit die because I almost was completely out of hit die. Oh, I'm sorry, Nelly. You can be in whatever room you want. I just was moving people. I yeah, I'm fine. I'm chilling. <laughs> she just doesn't want to be with Shay. I'll hang out. I'll hang out with Shay. I think I'm pretty close to Shay. You know, she's like my friend. I'm more friends with Fizz. Besties. Oh, I know you're friendly with Fizz. All right, that girl. All right, so I'll. <laughs> Put all three of them in a room. <laughs> so this is this is good. So you guys can definitely lock the doors from the inside and, and get a, a night's rest. Um and figure out and, and then our so our next session will be straight up everyone's rested. So that'll be good. Mm -hmm. So now Yanni, here's what we need from you. So let's just yeah. go ahead because we still got some some time here. Uh, let's yes. let's get your character up to level two fully. So we've already done your hit points, um, okay. and your spell slots will go. Your spell slots have already been adjusted, so now you have three spell slots total. So you can move your slots nice. remaining to three. Um, And you can now memorize one extra spell. And don't forget that every time you take a long rest, you can change up the spells you memorize. So if you feel like, you know what, we've been down here, I think something else is more useful, you're, you can always change those every time you take a long rest. Uh, so did you change the slots remaining back to three? Um, no, hold on. Okay. All right, so now at second level, you are going to get Channel Divinity. So on your core uh, sheet, uh, where it has dark vision and all that fun stuff, okay. you're going to get Channel Divinity. So you gain the ability to channel divine energy directly from your deity using the energy to fuel magical effects. You start with two such effects. So one is automatic, and that's Turn Undead, which is pretty awesome. Um, what? <laughs> hey, guys, I think I'm going to go to bed. All right. All right. See you, Kyle. All right. Night. See you guys next time.